Hey guys, it's tea time. And I got a fancy green rug. I love it because it's that color where some people are going to absolutely hate it. And then there are people like me that are going to absolutely love it. I went to Ikea with Ro because she really needed to get these candlestick things. And I told her that I would go with her. And I was like, you know, I've wanted a rug for a really long time. I've wanted a rug for a really, really long time. And I've just never bought it. And Ikea is really, for size of rug, it's about as cheap as you're going to get. So I was looking around there and they had this rug. It's like bright green rug. And I was like, I want that. I want that in my room. I want it. I was going to get a black one, but we already have, I think, three black rugs. Like, Roa's black rug, Micah's black rug, living room has black rug. It's just too, too, too many. So I decided, you know what? My room is pretty colorful. Like, I have a lot going on in here. And if there's anywhere that could get away with having a bright green rug, it's probably going to be my room. So I should take advantage. So I did. And I love it. No longer, sirs and madams, no longer will I climb down this ladder and then have my freezing feet touch the freezing floor. No, no, no. They will touch the carpet and it's going to be great. I cannot wait. I can't wait. It's going to be madness. It's going to be Sparta. Ugh. Love it. This is the highlight of my day. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm really, really excited about it. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, yes. So I didn't put up a video uh, yesterday. So I have um, St. Patrick's Day to tell you about. There isn't really a whole lot that happened yesterday. It was it was me waiting around for the podcast to start, which is has wound up being every Saturday or Sunday, depending on what day we do it. Uh, and then, you know, the podcast goes on forever. So it's like, you wake up and you're like, well, I've got the podcast, you know, middle of the afternoon. So yeah, if there's anything that I need to do, I need to do it now, which usually means I don't do it. So I just stay home. And then we do the podcast for, you know, three to six hours. And then when that's done, it's like, Phew, my day's over, man. Days, day is over. Which was a lie because I hadn't made my coffee video yet, but I didn't even realize I was sitting on the couch, like, like playing a game on my phone while people are beating each other up on Street Fighter. And I went, I never made a video. What was I thinking? I felt really bad, but at that point it was so late. I, I always wonder to myself when I forget, I think to myself, well, I could upload something really quick from my phone. <laughs> But at that point, it was like midnight. <laughs> it's, like, it's not worth it. Noah is not worth it. Although, looking back on it now, I totally should have. Because that party was hilarious. It was a warp zone party. And it wound up being um, a hilarious combination of really sober people. And then people who were drunk out of their mind. It was just so fun because then, you know, everybody's playing video games. And it's so fun I don't know, there's a huge difference for me between hanging out with a group of people that all want to just schmooze with each other and a group of people where the second there's a lull in the conversation, somebody's like, so I got Street Fighter 4 hooking up, you guys want to play? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want to play, let's do it now. Fighting games are the perfect party games to me. Whether it's Super Smash Brothers or Street Fighter, whatever it is. The more alcohol that people drink, the louder they get, the more just unrelenting screaming at each other happens. My throat hurts. I didn't even drink very much. And my throat is killing me because I'm so easily susceptible to people yelling. <laughs> it's just like, if other people are yelling, I am freaking out. And if any of you have watched Iron Gamer, you know, you know how much I yell during video games. I'm just like, bah! So... Yes, it was great though. Oh, come here. Um, but yeah, so it was really, really fun and not a whole lot. I mean, not a whole lot happened that I, that I know of. Not a whole lot happened that I know of. Although there was a white wine versus red wine box challenge. So it was like boxed wine, which if any of you have ever had that can typically be terrible. 
So they divided the house into two teams. There was a white wine team and the red wine team. And whoever finished their box first won. So <laughs> I was on the red wine team because I prefer red wine and it was revolting. It was so terrible. But I drank my glass. I did what I had to do for my team. And then white wine won. But then all of them got so sick. <laughs> like, so sick. They got just... Oh, God. It happened so fast. Like, everybody was just dying. I was like, oh, oh, there's so much madness. Oh, there's so much, so much unhappiness in this house right now. So the whole red wine team just kind of hung out and played the, uh, the Simpsons arcade game. Oh, yes. So we played the Simpsons arcade game and beat it. I was Lisa. And the, they... They turned it into a drinking game where every time you died, you had to take a drink. But all I had with me to try to get the taste of the red wine out of my mouth was a huge glass of Sprite. Half of the room, I think, knew. <laughs> and then the other half. I just didn't know, didn't care. I don't know. But every time I died, I was like, Sprite. <laughs> hey, I took a drink, so it's not a big deal. Um... Yeah, and then today was kind of my, like, chill day, because I needed it. I needed that. <sighs> I'm going to play more Dead Space, I think. I think that that's uh, going to happen when I'm done filming here. I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who. I've been re-watching the first season of Doctor Who. I forgot how great it is. It's so good! Oh, <laughs> uh, that show. I put off watching that show. I did the same... I did the same thing with the Harry Potter books. I put off watching that show for so long because everybody was just, like, tripping balls about it, right? I was like, it can't be that good. Whatever. I don't even... Nope. I have no desire. No desire. It's great. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love Doctor Who. And with Harry Potter, too. I was like, everybody's reading these books and they're probably dumb. <laughs> That was young me's logic. They're probably really dumb, and I don't care. So, whatever. And then I, when I finally sat down to read the Harry Potter books, I read the first two of them in a day. Which is not that impressive to some of you, but for me is like, extremely impressive. And then immediately went, where is the third? Where are all of the rest? I need all of them. I think at the time that I started reading them, four of the books were out. So I, like, wasted through four of those books and then went, where are the rest? <laughs> just, like, hurt my heart. Just hurt so bad. Where? Where are the rest of them? I just don't know. But, yeah, Doctor Who. I love it. It's on Netflix. If you have Netflix, if you're in North America. I'm so sad. Whenever I say, if you have Netflix, you should watch this, I have to remind myself it's not an international thing. It should be. I feel, because um, it's kind of a cool little uh, rink -a dink It's kind of a cool thing. I love Netflix. It's great. With an 8, maybe a 9. <sighs> but yeah, so St. Patty's Day. I was, I was already festive because my hair's green. <laughs> but overall, went well. Went super well. And then I immediately went out and I bought a green carpet. I'm just so festive. Oh, it kills me. But I hope you guys had a great St. Patty's Day, a safe, a safe St. Patty's Day, and ate lots of uh, corned beef and cabbage. It's one of my favorite meals of all time, of all time. But I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.